So what we got here, we got the uh, this new bad boy. And uh, you've been telling me some of the features of this, and this has got me really excited. This is really awesome. So go ahead, take it away. All right. I was part of the development process. This is this is called the EPM, or Enhanced Polymer Magazine. And um, part of what we've been doing with PTS is we've been kind of expanding upon, because um, we've done a lot of polymer accessories for many oh, years. Yes. And uh, so we actually have a, a family of, of Enhanced Polymer products coming out. The EPM, you know, it essentially represents, you know, uh, a lot of the sort of feature sets that we've seen of all the different types like of magazines over the encompasses years. encompasses all those features into one you know, platform. Uh, I really like it. Um, it stands you know, by itself. It stands by itself. <laughs> we, we kind of looked at all the feature sets of all the different magazines, not just, you know, Magpul, but like, you know, Lancer, all these different really, really popular and cool magazines, including like Real Fire, like uh, Stanag, you know, Metal Mags. And we said, what are the things that people like and dislike about these? You know, if, if the, if, one of those polymer magazines didn't exist without any of the legacy behind it how would we recreate it today what is kind of the cool features that we really liked and it essentially came up with this and what i really like about it is that uh you know right off the bat in terms of how it feels you know it's got a the zytel uh, polymer that is specific to what we were uh, working with DuPont. so same high quality polymer. same high qual quality yeah, so it's got more uh, realistic almost like the yeah, feed it's got lip, like yeah. almost a pseudo feed lip which is supposed to allegedly enhance the ability to be able to put the it into the magazine it actually does actually help a little bit uh little details such as the fact mm -hmm. that we've actually changed the way the wings on the front mm -hmm. of so the, the guy for yeah. the magazine as being yeah because well not only it does it seat properly but when you're inserting into a magazine or drawing from a magazine it doesn't have the little sort of uh, catches on it so yeah so that can actually inhibit this it's actually slick now so you can actually insert it or or put it back into a mag pouch very easily it was cool was it 150 round 150 capacity? round 150 round yes so this is um 150 rounds it's still mid cap so you still have to load it traditionally through the top but 150 rounds which means that you can put a lot more rounds down range and stay in the fight for longer um i don't know if we covered it earlier maybe we should just go over everything again yeah, sure let's just go over everything. Right. okay so um all right so right now we're going to talk about the EPM, and the EPM stands for Enhanced Polymer Magazine. Uh, the EPM is the first in a series of enhanced polymer mag uh, of enhanced polymer products that we're going to be producing through PTS. Um, you know, we've done a lot of polymer accessories over the years. The EPM is a very unique one. Uh, we really like it. It's basically all the features of the um, of a magazine that we really like, and we've and you know comes all into one. Product. Yeah, we you know we we solicited a lot of uh, sort of opinions from uh, from competition shooters, LE guys, Little guys. and mill guys, and um, we basically looked at all the feature sets that we really like, and we try to integrate it into one mag. And this is pretty much it. What we really love about it, you know, I'll get into all the specifics, but you know, to hit it really quick. You know, they got recessed panels with uh, with enhanced grip, grip in those texture. areas, so it's, it's easier to grip onto if you want a beer can grip it. Um, it's got the wider wings on the front without the protrusions, so inserting and pulling from magazine pouches is going to be sort of uninterrupted. Um, it also assists uh, with like the fitting inside the uh, the, the gun, make sure it doesn't it reduces and it, wobble and everything. It reduces, like that. yeah, it reduces that kind of sort of uh, slop in the mag well. Um, but you know, other there's there's two or three really cool features that I love about this mag. Uh, the first one is the mag base. Thanks. You know, the fact that it's got a slight angled uh, mag base that allows you to essentially put it inside of a gun Stands and have alone, it be right? completely horizontal. Um, some other mag bases they have different sort of features, but what we really like about this is that you know if you want to shoot on a flat plane, it gives you just enough traction because it's got can... a rubberized base that you can actually still get a lot of traction on the ground and get some good hits on and target. If you're changing your angle, and if you want to change your you can. Angle, you, you can, can do still that, do still. that, whatever you need to do. Um, also acts as a, a texture for you know gripping, manipulating absolutely. the magazine when you're going to so do you're your pulling your mag out. You got a little bit more texture on the grip. Uh, I like the fact that, in spite of the fact that it's got this angled grip, it doesn't feel weird in your hand. It still feels, it feels pretty natural. Um, so that doesn't feel odd. Um, it also has this little matrix down here, so you can yes. mark your mags, which is is a cool it's a cool aesthetic, especially if you're, yeah. you're trying to be organized. And I like to number all my mark mags too. to keep track of which ones are which. Uh, you know, it's like I drop one of my mags in, in the dirt and it gets all dirty. I'm like, I don't really want to like, put that straight in my gun. Eating, you know, so I'll be like, oh, that's number seven. Okay, just keep an eye. I need to watch that one later. Um, the other thing is the fact that you know. In spite of the fact that it's got this sort of uh, angled grip on the bottom, it doesn't inhibit the ability to be able to uh, close flaps if you have a close, close pouch. It basically doesn't protrude so exactly. much that... Um, 
Another feature with this is the fact that um, some guys told us that when they're putting uh, mags into uh, tall mag pouches, sometimes they can't really get that big, that good uh, so beer can grip on it. it more like so they can only just sort of grip as much like as they can. Kind of grip almost. Exactly. Yeah. So this is a little tab on the front, and this tab allows you to be able to put your hand on it, index, index it, the and there's a little bit of grip right there, so you can actually grip it and pull it out and have it in the right space. Um, as soon as you want to put it into a gun. And, and it fits in a lot of different platforms, KWA, VFC, and it's, yes. one, it's one of the great things about this. If you want a great polymer mag, it wouldn't fit in, like the ones that were out there didn't fit in a lot of the really popular guns that were right. out there, but just that was like a, VFC 416 That was a big concern, big ones. Um, like a lot of people had with like the original sort of polymer mags that started coming out. You know, they were like, does it work with this and this and this? Well, we made sure that we had enough space when this was going to be inserted, even from an M4 or a like a CA or a VFC 416, it's compatible with pretty much all of them, and that's really really cool. Now, the last feature, which is yours and my oh, favorite, yes. the is indicator. The indicator. So we talked about the fact that there's 150 rounds, and uh, it's, it's a mid cap, but it's a very reliable feeding mid cap. The other thing is sometimes when you're loading mags, you don't really know if you loaded the capacity. Uh, the cool and thing it is, it lets you tells you. Yeah, it, it just tells you. It's like, hey, I'm so full. at the bottom yeah. of this fake window, um, bullet window, there's is actually that, a little space at the bottom, which is actually so a see-through window. So the window. follower that has an orange indicator. Yeah, and it'll pop. So up. when it loads all the way around, there's a little orange indicator that that feeds into that one little area, and you can actually see it. So if I grab my mags, I'd be like, like all right, oh, this, this one's, one's good. good to go. Yeah, topped off, and then you go. It's like, yeah. okay, go jam these mags instead. Exactly. Uh, reliable feeding, everything you've come to expect from PTS. You know, because we kind of established that as you know the so the benchmark and. And we continue to do that and yet at 150 rounds it still has the same reliability that we've been known for all, for all our mags over the years so uh this is the first of the polymer series that's coming out and we're really excited about the other things that are going to be coming out in 2014. Truly a mag that stands alone. So keep an eye, there's a lot of new products from PTS that are going to be coming out. Uh, post, pre, during, SHOT Show and everything, there's going to be amazing stuff coming out. Uh, through the mega arms, through the different rails and the different comps, as well as the polymer products like the EP mag. So keep an eye out for uh, PTS this year, 2014. This is Spartan 117GW and Alex Coe from PTS. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. It's okay, Andrew, we're going to start over. <laughs> I don't know, but we're rolling actually right now. No, oh. no, no, this is, no, this is the worst. <laughs>